if you're watching this video, hopefully you have made a drawing, you're happy with it. And before we walk through all the steps for printing, look at your picture, make sure it's solid underneath, make sure there's no glaring issues with it. And then also, check to make sure that your drawing is on the origin. If your drawing's like way over here, then when it gets dumped, it'll be a problem. My easiest way for doing this is doing Command-A to grab everything, hitting M for move, and then I'm going to pick it up from this corner and dump it here. Also, if you have like all your side work and stuff like that here, delete all the other things that you no longer need. Always a good idea to change the revision of this so that if you needed an older version of the file, you could still get to it. If the, if the file's not saved, that's a problem. Make sure that's happening periodically. Now, let's see how large this is going to be. I'm going to draw a line, but I'm not going to finish the line. And this is 26 feet. Well, that's way too big, right? No way that'll fit on the plate. So we need to scale this down. And, you know, to scale it down, I think it can be more than 10% of the size. So here's how you're going to scale something down. If it's not chosen, either click and drag to choose the whole thing, whatever you got to do. And then we'll use the scale button, and we're going to grab a corner. And you could repeatedly do this, but that might be kind of frustrating. So I'm going to type in 0.1, hit enter, and then I'll zoom. Same deal as before. There's me drawing a line. It's 2 feet 7 inches. Well, I can reduce it by more than half. So I'm going to click on the scale button again. And if I wanted to make it half the size, that would be 0.5. So I'll go with like 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Now, I'm shrinking it down. This is 9 inches. I'm not going to print it at 9 inches but I know that when I drag and drop it in, it'll at least get into the program nicely. So if you get it down to nine inches, great, that's fine. And we're gonna just click on save so that it goes with those updates. Now, I'm gonna look at my Google Classroom page. Hey everyone, watch this video to help with the submission process. So this video is not completed, but it will be, and that video link will be right here. Now let's complete the attached form. It's going to automatically grab your email. I did make sure my drawing was at the origin. Random lines, the original picture, and more have been removed. There's no random stuff that's missing around, uh, messing around with the drawing. And then I should also share it with me, which means you're going to have to go to Google Drive, Locate your file, and then add people to it. Start to type Ruben, you'll see me come up. And I'd prefer not to be notified about it, just so that I don't get a bunch of emails. And leave me with editing privileges and click on share. It's shared with Ruben, I can check that. I'll put my name. If there's a bunch of you that have the same first name, please give me a last initial. Then I go and I look at what my file name is. Double zero demo rev B. Doesn't really have to be perfect, that's fine. And then choose the color from here. Well, since this is a Pac-Man ghost, I'd like him to be blue. and submit it. I completed the attached Google form. So now I'm going to export and download the file as an STL. So I'm looking at my drawing. Right now, the printer won't like this drawing. I'm in an architectural program, and I need to convert it to something that the printer can receive. The way I'll do that is by clicking on these lines, and I'm going to hover over Export, and I'm going to hover over Download, because Export has all these options, but what they don't have is STL. 
because that's buried under download. You'll notice that mine went ahead and went through. Because mine went ahead and went through, it's okay that if I'm the student, I can really jump to step three. But in case that didn't work, let's go and show people what they'd have to do if you get stuck there. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go to my computer. So now let's pretend you're sitting at my computer and you do have permission from me and you're allowed to go to Google Drive and you're typing in the name of your file. You gotta search for it. It pops up, double click on it, open with SketchUp with schools, and so on. Which means that now you'd be good to go back to that same process, but now you'd be on my computer choosing download as STL. That's our workaround. So if you run into a wall that you can't do it on your own computer or a school computer, that's how you're going to get around that. Now the thing is, where did the file go? Well, it is in the downloads location. And usually, in your recent download history, if you hover, you can actually open up that folder. There's my file. If you've done this a bunch, you might want to make sure it's the correct one in case there are duplicates. Going back to the steps, now I need to upload the STL file using the second link. So this was the first where you did the sign-in uh, and filled in the form, and now you're going to make her cloud print. You've got to enter your name. As an extra step, it'll be very helpful if you also include the color again. It'll mean I can print yours quicker. You'll choose that you're not a robot, unless you are a robot, in which case, please choose robot. And then now you have to upload that file. <clears throat> if you're at my computer, it's probably on the desktop, but if it's uh, on your computer or maybe mine, go to the downloads, and we will choose that file. Even though it says open, this means you're opening it to attach it. I see that everything's complete, and I'll submit my model. There's no reason to keep this confirmation page open. We can close it. And then now, it seems more simple than it is when I just say print it, so check this out on my computer or your own, if I've given you permission to use my sign-in, you can go down and we'll see this and I will click on it and I'm going to review, review excuse me, the model. This will open up a web-based program. I mean, like, no way, I don't want it to be that small. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, how do I make it larger? Well, this is the move option. And then here's your scale button. Since this is selected, I can click on the scale. And I'm saying, well, you know what? If it's not five millimeters thick, this thing's going to be pretty darn small. So let me see how big it is when it's five millimeters thick. And then I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, 90, that's kind of monstrous. So maybe I'll drop it back down to four. And you can get a uh, ruler out, do all that sort of stuff to see how it goes. Always sort of nice to go back to the move and then hit zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, which will center it nicely. And since this should automatically be on the uh, build plate, you should be good to go. And then we'll just click on approve. Once you're in approve, you'll see a little wait to slice it and dice it. And then we'll click on print once that comes up, and you'll go from there. Make sure that before you do print, there is nothing else on the build plate. Beginning to end, all of these steps, complete the attached form, export it, download it as an SCL, upload it to uh, that second link, and then finally print it using this link as well.